Okay, so we're going to go over this ANOVA question here. Um, first of all, in the in the problem statement, note these key pieces of information there. So there's three cities, that means there's three groups, and uh, and uh, we're going to be performing a test at a 10% salience level. Okay, and just to remind you, here are a couple of different uh, formulas on the um, on the ANOVA distribution, okay? Um, we don't need this yet, but um, here's where here's where all the formula are. So we're going to uh, first of all evaluate if this is the right QQ plot to examine. Um, and remember, for ANOVA, we're assuming that all three cities um, have mean sulfur dioxide concentrations that come from a normal distribution, okay? Not just one. So this is not the correct um, QQ plot. We would need three plots for three cities, okay? <coughs> Now the test statistic here is missing, so we, we need to compute it for part B. And so the way to compute it is by taking the between group sum of squares and divide by the within groups sum of squares, okay? Um, And the place you find that is right here, okay? So we have between groups is 12.0 divided by 2.7, and that gives us an answer of 4.44. Um, now, what distribution was used to find the p-value provided in this output above, right? So note that it's going to be an f distribution <coughs> with k minus 1 and n minus k degrees of freedom, okay? And we have k minus 1 and n minus k right here. So it's going to be an f with 2 and 6 degrees of freedom. Okay. And finally, uh, let's clear those answers. To study, we want to we give the right interpretation, okay, of the p-value. So 6.4% is the p-value. So if the study repeated many times, the null hypothesis would be true only 6.4% of the time. Now this is clearly not true because 6.4% is saying uh, that's the probability that the null hypothesis, that's the probability that we reject the null hypothesis and the null hypothesis is true. So there's also the possibility that the null hypothesis is, uh, that, that we accept the null hypothesis and the null hypothesis is true. Okay, so that's clearly not true. Um, so that's clearly not true. Number two, if the study repeated many times, uh, and if the population means we're all equal, we would see a statistics as large or larger than that observed in about six point. So this is just the definition of the p-value, six point four percent. So this is true. And number three, if the study repeated many times, and the populations are all equal, we reject the null hypothesis in about ten percent of the repetitions. So this is saying if the null hypothesis were true, okay, it's because this is the null hypothesis right here, the population means we're all equal, okay? If the null hypothesis were true, we would reject the null hypothesis 10% of the time. And this is true, because that's the definition of a significance level, right? So we set the significance level at 10% up here, and that's why down here, um, our type 1 error rate, because this is basically a type 1 error rate, right? is 10%, okay? And the second part of the question, um, let's clear. Let's just clear this really quick. Okay, suppose the necessary assumptions hold. Using a 10% significance level, which of the following is the correct conclusion? Okay. 
Um, so, we know that the sentence level is lower than 10%, but what does that mean, right? Because our, our null hypothesis is that mu1 equals mu2 equals mu3. So all we really know is that the null hypothesis doesn't appear to be true, which means that, but we can't say that, um, definitely we, we're not saying that they're all the same because we're saying they're not all the same, right? Um, but we're also not saying that they're all different, right? Maybe this equality doesn't hold, but this one does, right? So two is the correct answer there. Um, and then we get new data from here, and we want to say, is there a difference between city 1 and city 2 at the 10% level, right? So everything here is a 90, is at the 10% level. It's a 90% confidence interval, right? And the difference between city 1 and city 2, right, is found on this row or this row, right? So, um, so here, the difference, so 1 minus 2 is negative all the time, right? And 2 minus 1 is positive all the time, because it's just the same thing, okay? So, um, so clearly, the possibility that they're the same, which would, which would be to include 0 in this, in these intervals, is not in either one, so we can say that there does appear to be a significant difference at the 10% level.